we are here with Collecting Bliss, Kyle, Lou and Quinny, who's Quinny. around. Go then Quinny, you go free. You want me free? You're not, you're not required here, mate. So I'm going back to my fun friends. Off it goes. <laughs> yeah. oh, so Quinny. excited for you guys finally to meet you. Yeah, it's so nice to See your truck as well, it's been really good. Yeah, yeah. it's been a, a good weekend with Tennis and Thread. It has, How it has. It? Awesome tracks. It's just nice to have sort of people together who love doing the same thing. Yeah. And it's been good fun. Isn't it? Yeah, it has. And seeing seeing the convoy of cars yesterday driving through the track was really yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, guys, um, we heard you've been on an awesome trip. So, what is the plan? What's the next plan? Um, we don't really, we don't really have a plan. We just yeah, we'd never really like to have a plan to be honest because well, we had to do a bit of planning to get the truck over here, and it's just yeah. not for us planning stuff. I, I think. agree, best way. Yeah, and there's just opportunities that come up along the way that like, like this if you weekend. have yeah. yeah. Like, um, and as you meet people, new stuff comes up, like the people we've met have invited us on trips as well and if you have such a rigid plan you just can't adapt to new changes that come up. So uh, yeah, we haven't had much of a plan, we have things that we'd like to do, but we've always got a few options, so if something doesn't work out, you know, we know we can do something else instead. You waiting. guys are based, based in England just for, for a little while and you've got a place and if you didn't know already, these guys are from Australia, so they've come if a long way. you can't way. tell. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, they brought so their amazing home with them, which is, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so we Kyle built our um, camper for us on our um, on our Nissan Patrol, and we drove it around Oz for a while first, yeah. and really gave it a thorough test on um, off road as well, because we love four wheel driving some pretty rough tracks back home. Yes, and it's been awesome to be able to do that with our camper on the back, like it doesn't affect it at all. Um, I saw you'd uh, you've been through Europe as well. Yeah, really enjoyed the. Uh, the photos and yeah. stories on Instagram. Yeah, it was awesome. So we came over here in March, and as uh, knowing that the UK would be our base to do Europe, yeah. yes. um, and we spent five, five, six months straight in the in the camper around Europe, mm -hmm. which is really awesome. Um, and now it's starting to get cold. We thought we'd knuckle down for a bit, save yeah. some money again, and do the next chunk of whatever it may be. You got a place for the fire, so yeah, we're yeah, we're sorted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. must have. It. Yeah. Yeah, so and being here is an experience in itself too. Like, yeah. you know, yeah, it's enjoying yourself. Then. Moving, moving all the time. It can get pretty full on. It's nice to be grounded for a bit and really appreciate where you are and yeah, be a part that. of a community as well. It's pretty it's special. Good, it's good not to have a plan, I suppose, and just go over the bases. See where you, go where you've been. Go with the flow. Yeah, it's and it's good. it's one thing to it's talk about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When you um, when you talk about something too, like once you actually get there, it can be so different. Like yeah. you might say, yeah, okay, we're going to go somewhere in November, but until you're actually there and you understand what the climate's like and all these other little things that pop up, then you have to think of things a bit differently. So you've got to adapt. You've got to adapt to it. Yeah, that's right. So with your amazing truck, tell me a bit about um, how it all came together. Kyle's the one that built it, so we wanted to. Everything we looked at to buy wasn't right. Yep. We wanted to be able to do everything with the roof down so you can camp in Europe for free, so you're not camping in the car parks. Yeah, and nothing was similar, so then I started looking around and you know, it was just a lot easier than. And you build this yourself? Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. He's, he's got, um, like, we've got a little oven in there, we've got yep. a shower, which the, we were just saying last night. Yeah, we wow. do, we have a Out, shower, outside, outside, outside shower, outside. but um, it. The, the hot water is it not working. It was heated in Australia, but I'm here it's so work. cold. It's seasonal. Yeah, yeah, seasonal. Yeah, yeah, it's seasonal. Yeah, yeah, it's seasonal. <laughs> still awesome. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. But to have the, have the choice, I guess. But just to heat things up inside is fine. And how, um, long, how long did it take you to build this? About four months. Four months and weekend. solid weekends. So I was working in between. That's still pretty good going. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. Amazing stuff. And Speaking even like lift like lifting this. He lifted this on the back of the truck by itself. Using random yeah, stuff about the garage. Because Pilot Jack and Wheelie bins. Yeah. <laughs> True Aussie. <laughs> All the bins out the driveway. It was um, average because I would have had to buy a uh, right pirate crane otherwise yeah. and not even yeah. really fork out two thousand dollars for a crane. So I don't blame you. Yeah. 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 This is made of what's the fiberglass, um, fiberglass panels yeah. and uh, aluminium frame, is it? Steel frame. Steel frame. Yeah. Just riveted together and just glued. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's been really good and we did a few, like obviously Kyle drew it all from scratch how he wanted it because we did, we looked at quite a few and we were really surprised by, they were so expensive but they really just weren't what we wanted, like we yeah. weren't even looking at it going, oh that's so awesome, we were finding all these things that we were thinking, oh it's probably a bit impractical or... Yeah. Well how good is that? Yeah, it, it works out really well. It's very impressive as well, you did it yeah, just on the weekend. On the, on the, on the original so. car, yeah. And yeah. for the pop top so you can stand up. Yeah. yeah, so we built it so the canvas um, can come completely down too, so it zips all the way down. Yeah. So I can open it all up. Yeah, so if you're somewhere really nice, if you've got a super clear sky or, or, I could fly or, else. or with, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or if you're um, nice and you know, somewhere really hot too, and yeah. you just need extra airing out, or we've slept on beaches and just the view I, obviously I think outside. I remember a photo actually, we yeah. had it open just see the It's too special beach. to be blocked oh, yeah. away, so we just put it completely down, it's really good. That was really perfect design. That was my, probably my one input into the yeah. kettle. <laughs> it took um, some time designing that one. Yeah, it was, it was a tough decision. Yeah, so, awesome. so it's done a great job on it. It's been perfect for us. And it's enough space? Yeah, it is. We could always have more space, but yeah, mm. we, we, we know we know about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I, we don't feel like we're sacrificing anything. You have to get used to being. It's kind of a bit of a yeah. dance that you're constantly doing. You know, like Kyle's cooking, and I know. Yeah, like we just yeah. know our little places to be yeah. while we're doing stuff. Yeah. But so the it's a lot of communication. Get into yeah. a routine. Yeah, but you get used to it, and um, we wanted to build it yet yeah, to make sure we could sleep and use the kitchen and yeah. stuff with the roof down if you're in really bad weather or um, keeps it a bit warmer yeah too. or you yeah it keeps it warmer, warmer. heats warmer it's or if you're somewhere that you feel a bit um, you don't want to you know like display that you're in there, there. Yeah. Yeah. you know you, you can, can sleep in there so you can drive if you need to. That's yeah, great. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. That's yeah. something we always wanted to have, was the ability to just go straight yeah. in the front. Or if you've had a really long driving day, you can just stop and crawl straight in the bed. Especially if it's raining. Yeah, without, climb in the back. Without getting out of the car, you can just Have there. a rest, have a snack. Sleep. What kind of um, power setup do you have? I see you've got the solar on the roof. Yeah, just solar. Is that 150? What did you say? 160 watt solar and a couple yeah. of leisure batteries. Yeah, we've got 260 amp hours of batteries. 260 amp hours, that's a, Probably that's a fair bit. Probably only got about 50 at the moment. Yeah. I've, um, <laughs> I've accidentally left the inverter on <laughs> three yeah, times yeah, for, for a long <laughs> time. Need batteries for Christmas then. <laughs> they, although they keep, the Christmas stuff they, keep on, yeah. they keep pushing on though, don't they? They keep, they've been we fine. We can charge our phones and everything's still. We, and I don't use my... Like uh, our heater last night. Yeah. No chance. It's like... And only lasted about five minutes, ten minutes before the batteries were low. But it we don't... Yeah, like all yeah. the everyday stuff that we do, like I charge my computer quite a bit because I work on the road yes. as well. Yeah. That's fine. Like that's probably the most power that gets zapped is yeah. from charging the laptop. So, and that's completely good. So as long as we can do that. It's good work. Um, when we're in nice weather too, and when we've been driving quite a bit and we're fully charged, we can usually be off grid for a week. That's nice. That's really, yeah. really good. Awesome. That's something we really wanted to have. Yeah. We haven't been able to test it yet, but hopefully we will. There's not much sun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit, bit trickier over yeah. here. Yeah. Wrong time of the year. Yeah. But it definitely helps, yeah. What about uh, water? How much water do you carry? 80, 80 litres. 80 litres of fresh water. Yeah. And two separate tanks. Two tanks? Yeah. So what's the reason behind that? Well, one of them was originally a hot water tank. One was supposed to be hot water, one was cold. And it one's was filtered hot. For drinking, <laughs> one's just for washing up. Okay, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, the filter water is actually really great because we obviously just fill up from wherever and the filter, filter on it is awesome. Ah, you can yeah. drink it and know that it's really good clean water. I'll find out the system we use because that's oh, something yeah. we want to do. So yeah. yeah. What about fuel? Do you carry extra fuel? Well, it's got two 90 litre tanks, factory. Two 90 litre tanks. That's, yeah. that's a fair bit. So, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of diesel. It hurts every time you fill it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, does. it hurts the pocket <laughs> a bit. What's the range? About 1200 Ks, 1300 Ks. In terms of um, modifications to the vehicle, what, what have you done to make uh, it better off road? Everything. Everything. Pretty much. So uh, I can see obviously you got the big tires. Are they 35s? Uh, 315s, the metric size. 315. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, pretty, pretty much everything. What I've about? always had full drives and I've always yeah. been beaten off road. I did hear from Luke, you might have had 20 patrols. Uh, 22. 22 patrols? 
That's quite impressive. Wow. <laughs> so what? Yeah. So you know, you know a bit about patrols? Yeah. He's a patrol man. The patrol man. Yeah. It's the, yeah. the four, two, yeah. six cylinder. Yeah. Which we don't get here in Europe, but no. you get the good one. We get the good one. In Australia. Yeah. Have you done any tuning on that, or is it standard? Um, yeah, bigger turbo, bigger in the cooler. Turbo yeah. into cooler. And the pump's getting done. You get to turn the pump up. Eventually. Yeah. Get it. get free condition. Yeah. Bigger. Yes. Uh, suspension. What have you got for suspension? Uh, just heavy duty springs and the uh, Fox remote res. They're uh, the Fox shocks. The adjustable ones. They're good. Yeah. They do the job. Yeah. Well, it's for the weight. So sometimes it's empty, sometimes it's heavy. And yeah. You can just turn it up and then it drives on the road one. I know you were saying to me you could do corrugation, corrugations at like 110 k. Well, that's, that's the main reason we got them. It's yeah. Because of the corrugation. You know? Especially in Australia, corrugation is you do cool like hundreds of k's, oh, especially out in yeah. the bush and out and back. And they just shake everyone into these pieces. Yeah. Found any corrugations in Europe? <laughs> no. We did have like in our band here in the mountains there was quite a few rocky roads, like not corrugation yeah. obviously, but same, we're still bumping thing. around and the yeah. suspension was really good. You kind of just float through pretty well with it, don't you? You got the snorkel on there, uh, some extra lighting, uh, yeah. LED bars. No, the top, yeah. yeah. Oh, and a spare wheel. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, spare wheel. It's the, only place it, it's the only place it fits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what, what about storage? Have you got any extra storage on the outside? Just those just the toolboxes on the side. So you've got two, two toolboxes, one each side. It's just mostly yeah. recovery yeah. gear in there. And then that's just like, like, a, like a cupboard. Like yeah. It's got hanging Pretty space. Pretty space. Our washing basket yeah. on the side door there. We just yeah. stuff our washing on the Which side. Which is great because you don't have to deal with it. You just like shove it in. Shove it in the shoe. Yeah. Do oh, you like, do yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. The cupboard on the yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah. So the storage. Um, with our original truck, we had a wagon. It was patrol still, but a wagon. And Kyle actually cut it, and we had the camper on that. Um, and it was built to fit the chassis of that. Yeah. But it was the yeah. Way around. Yeah. So oh, yeah, this was. Said. This yeah. was the way you climbed through from the cab. Um, so when we bought the new truck, which we just knew would be better long term, like. You know, it was in better condition, we loved our truck, but it had some rust and things on it. We thought it was a bit stupid to take it overseas when it was at that work. point already. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So when we bought this, we quite had to make some adaptions work out because so it, it was didn't different. Fit. It didn't fit between the wheel and the cab. Oh, right, so you had, you had to yeah. do some adjustments. Yeah, I had to put it backwards. Yeah, so we spun it around. Yeah. That's why you had the hole. That's yeah. why the hole's there. Yeah. So that's, that's why. why. But it came in handy. It's been really yeah. good. We've so got great. heaps of extra storage in there and things like when you're traveling for so long too, you're going to have such different needs. Like all these big coats, we obviously didn't need these in summer. Yes. Yeah. So we've got space in there where all of our big winter stuff is stored away and it's not in the way. And inside you've got a couple of drawers that pull out yeah, and some yeah, under yeah. storage under the bed. Yeah. 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 And then that can side of the bed is all storage and then yeah. the drawers, one's our pantry, one's the Do you find it drawer. enough or a demo enough? Yeah, we fit a whole we fit yeah. a good shop in there. Yeah. yeah. The fridge, it all fits. Yeah. And you've got the yeah. domestic fridge. Yeah, the fridge the freezer. Fridge still nice. Still yeah. Uh, it's jealous. Really cool. We've only got the fridge. The freezer. Yeah. The freezer's yeah. quite good space for yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just, big, yeah, it's we've one. just found, yeah. um, you know, we literally do the same shop that if we lived in a house, that we yeah. would do, so a whole week's worth of... You do a whole week? Yeah. You do a whole yeah week. We only manage about three, sometimes four three, days. Four days. Yeah. Yeah. It's fresh just fresh. usually, yeah, because you have to buy fresh stuff, whereas with the yeah. freezer, we, we stock up on stuff and, and then... Just keep them good dog food, was hard in Europe, yeah. so we buy frozen oh, yeah. dog food and keep it frozen. That's brilliant. Yeah, um, and then, you know, you end up going off grid somewhere pretty remote and you don't have to plan it because you know you've got plenty of food in there no matter where you end up. And you only have to find a decent shop once a week. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favourite shop in the UK? Ooh. In the UK. Morrison's? Morrison's. Morrison's, yeah. 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 They're pretty Stocker. good actually. We like Morrison's. Very yeah. good. Yeah. I shopped there last week. Yeah. yeah. Everything we need, so it's pretty good. What's your dream destination? Travel. Oh, it's pretty much faster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we really want to get the truck over there. It's That'd cold be... there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, nice. are you sure? You've been pretty cold. Yeah. Um, no, Iceland would be awesome. We want to go to Scandinavia as well. Um, it's somewhere we didn't get to on this trip because of the time of year. Europe obviously was pretty crazy because it was high summer, so there's yeah. a lot of people yeah. around. Um, but yeah, we'd love to get to Iceland. We've talked about going to different places too. Like, Basically, there's shipping routes all over, so if you've got the funds 
and you have some planning behind you. Like we can, we know we can take this over to Canada and do the states as well. Um, South America. South America. So, South America. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, I think, eventually, yeah, maybe. eventually. Um, and with with Europe also because we'd been here before and we'd lived in a van before we did this trip, yeah. so we knew we were capable of doing it. And it's been really good for us, like long term test on this. Um, you don't have to worry about anything, you know. It's just like such an easy place to get around. And then from there, if we want to do something different, go to a different continent, we know we're sorted. Like we've tested it out really long term now. Could be some big, big, big trips on the horizon. Yeah, and yeah. I think we've also, um, you know, after being on the road for so long, I think once you're actually on the road for a while and you really know what it's like, you know, it's one thing to talk about it, but once you're in the car day in day out yeah. for six months. Yeah. Um, or longer because we drove across Oz as well before we came over here. Um, it really makes you think of things differently and we've worked out now different options for things like if we get to a point where we feel a bit overwhelmed with all the new stuff we've done, we know we can park up the truck somewhere and we can come yeah. back to it and we can do different sections. You don't do it. take the pressure off yourself, you know, like you want to be enjoying it. You don't want to just be doing it because you feel like you have to do the next part. Come to it when you're ready. Yeah. Good way to do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, and you're just enjoying it, you're appreciating it. Yeah. No rush. The, the world all moves too fast these days. That's yeah, it. And yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, honestly, you are honestly ever so inspiring and yeah. what you do. It's home for and so encouraging for other people out there too. So Thank you. Just, just to, you know, get out and do it because it is really possible. It's down to our mindset and what we do. Um, but if, if all the guys would like to follow you, uh, where can they find you? Are uh, you found on any social media platforms? We uh, are on. Was, yeah. We're on Instagram and Facebook yeah. as Collecting Bliss. Um, and Instagram, is, we've it's found it amazing. Bliss. Yeah, it's been yeah. so incredible. Like the community we've met in the UK and all over Europe and having. Um, we've got our name written on our car, and that's actually been amazing. Like you'd be in the most remote place, and someone message you and be like, "Guys, yeah. we followed behind you." Like we, you know, we live, yeah, we live just down the road. If you need to come and you know come say hi, have a beer. Um, so the so community cool. there is is incredible, and that's just yes. places we've been so far. So it's um, really nice how welcoming everyone's been. So I'm sure everybody would love to ask, how how do you fund your travels? Uh, well, we knew this trip was coming up for a while, so we obviously worked pretty hard in Oz before we came over. We so saved up some. Yeah, we yeah, saved we up some money. We moved into the northwest of WA to, and I worked in the mining industry. Yeah, so we... Yeah. And, and that we lived was, in, a, in a cheap donga. Yeah. A, Make sacrifices, you know, for the yeah. future and how adventures. How long did you do that for? Uh, about, total probably yeah. about three years. Three years. But, but within we went that home time, and got yeah. married and stuff in between. Yeah. 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 And we got to do, like the thing of being based on the remote like that, we got to do amazing trips in Oz. So even though, yeah, it was a few years, but we got to see so much of Australia in between um, and really test out the camper thoroughly yeah. in pretty extreme environments as well and off-road tracks and stuff to make sure it was good. Um, but I also have my web design business, so... So you spent most of that savings now, and are you, are you, are you working again? Yeah, yeah, so I've worked the whole time, actually. Oh, which, you worked the whole time? Yeah, which um, I was interested to see how it would go, because I've had my business now for, I think, seven years. Seven years? Yeah, so That's I do... an online business? Yeah, it's um, websites and graphic design, um, which okay. I've... So I've already established that back home, but I've got my great clients that I already had back home and just continued looking after them while I've travelled. Yeah. Um, which has worked really well. We were a bit afraid of the internet maybe not being very good. I was going to ask, how, how is that? It was actually amazing. Once, once yeah. we found the right once package. we found the right yeah, SIM card. Great. Um, that took us a lot. You the same SIM card like through your phone and the router or Yeah, yeah. We just um tethered our phone. And because I use quite a lot of data for work and yeah, sure. I thought this is gonna be ridiculous or the signal's gonna be so crap and we'll be somewhere really remote and it won't work. But it was really good. Um we'd be, you know, in such remote places up in the mountains in the Alps and we're thinking, there's no way you're gonna get reception here. But we did. Um, I know, it's insane. Yeah, so a little bit sad because you realise how easily, constantly connected you are, but for us, for me, we were so appreciative because it means I could just keep working without much interruption at all.
And do you have a, a name for your is it company or? Yeah, so it's called Humanized. Um, humanized. Humanized, yeah. And uh, mostly I work with Australian clients, like startups and um, businesses. Kind of, they kind of like their design wing woman, I guess. I just look after everything they have to keep the business going. Yeah. Um, but I've definitely met some amazing people along the way and. Um, with their different businesses and things as well. Excellent. And also a good good thing to have because we'd be in places where you're so aware that you can, you know, swap services and say, you know, I can help you with this, with your business, like with campgrounds or different places along the yeah. way yeah. Um, in exchange for free accommodation or something like that. So just really something really handy to have. Okay, well, um, if you want to find out more from these guys, we'll put the links in the description below so you can check them out there. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for thank you so, so much. awesome to meet you guys. So we're all looking forward to another day on the trails today. Yeah, we are. We had we're a fantastic day yesterday. So yeah. hopefully, probably one better to today. Splashing line. I wouldn't yeah. call it against that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's awesome doing some trails over here, and like the UK is so different because you really yeah. need someone who knows you where do. things are yeah. hidden. Like there's yeah. not big open spaces; it's little sneaky spots yeah, behind know. farms and things. That's so we never find them. Yeah, that's UK. <laughs> that's UK. <laughs> so it's, yeah, this is a great um, meetup. It's so lovely. The, the tracks have been really good. And so. Quinny has definitely made some friends. Yeah, Quinny. Oh my God, he's such a pest. <laughs> <laughs> he's so annoying. He's running just, around. Somewhere. He's with every other person. Next yeah. person, throw the ball. Be your yeah. best friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's, let's hit the trials. All right, yeah, sounds good. It. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good Good Come here. <laughs> 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 If you enjoyed watching this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one.